I don't know who knows how much about this book. I started, my father died, it'll be four years in April. Um, in November, the previous November, I started writing poems about him. So it was only like, he was only alive for about five months. Um, and I started writing, this is, a, this is a person who was a, one of the most brilliant people I've ever met. Also a, a very good pianist. Um, and he wasn't the same person anymore. So I started writing just as journal entries to partly to figure out what is going on and how do I deal with this. Um, and all, but also to try to figure out how do you connect? Language was disappearing. I mean, he declined sort of at the same rate physically and mentally, at least that seemed to be happening. Um, but how do you communicate? Is the same person really there and he just can't access it? Or is he not there? And if he is there, how do you communicate? Language, as I said, was disappearing. Touch was really important. There's one poem I'm not going to read where he, he like, reaches, finally he just settles, his hand settles down on mine. Communication. Music was really, really important. Um, and because he knew music in, inside, and I knew it inside in a different way, and we finally came together about that. But the other thing is, I mean, when people change, people, you know, somebody gets old, especially with dementia, Alzheimer's, they're not the same person. But not all the change is necessarily bad. And that's what makes it complicated. My father was a much nicer person toward the end of his life than he had been. He was a much kinder person. So you have to balance what's going on that's good and what's going on. And it's, it's incredibly complicated. Um, then, then, somewhat after that, I, I, started, I read some of these poems in public. I was really surprised how much other people, a lot of other people seemed to connect to it. Partly because, I mean, around the room between your extended family, almost everybody has somebody we've lost through dementia or Alzheimer's. But in addition, certainly through cancer or just old age or whatever. And this, the book seemed to touch that. And so what I really hope is that this is a book that's for everybody. And that said, I will start reading. And the book is called My Father Humming. Can you guys all hear me? I do have a microphone, but I don't. Yes, you're not supposed to rattle your bag, Vaughn. <laughs> <laughs> a house with music in it. You step into the house and hear the music. Stop, breath held. Push the door shut behind you. Lower the groceries to the floor, hoping the bag won't crinkle. And stand, eyes shut, taken so far from sounds of the world outside as if it doesn't exist. There is only in the other room, piano, player in the music, passing through your pores, penetrating your heart, lodging there so deep it's hard to imagine a time it wasn't there, or there might come another when you walk into nothing, his hands not on the keys, no magic in his fingers, vibration of the twisted strands of metal, gone, the silence emptier for what it used to hold.